Hi guys, uh, my name is Anuj Jindal and today we are going to talk about uh, the four week strategy for the upcoming NABARD grade A exam. As I had promised on 7th, that is day before yesterday, that I shall be coming out with a four week strategy which will include daily targets for you guys which can be followed by you in order to ensure that you cover everything in the remaining four in the, in the next four weeks and then you can revise everything in the, in the remaining four weeks that you will have before the exam before, because the exam is expected somewhere around 15th June to 30th June or between the last week of June to first week of July that's the expected time period that we have for the exam okay so what we are going to do is we are going to move towards uh, the excel sheet that I have created that has daily targets including the time pe period that is required to cover all those areas and uh, that also has a week wise strategy for you. Now there are certain uh, prerequisites or announcements that I wanted to make because four weeks is too less a time to cover the entire syllabus because the syllabus itself is too big. So I have relied upon the course that has been created by me because otherwise creating a timeline uh, is very difficult. So let's say if I say that definition and meaning of agriculture can be read in uh, you know 30 minutes then uh, I don't know if you can cover it on your own in 30 minutes or not because someone might be going through 10 books and someone might be going through only the wiki page in order to go through these things. So 30 minutes timeline cannot be followed in that scenario and therefore in order to ensure that whatever timeline I am giving, there is certain proof behind that, there is certain uh, you know, uh, uh, logic behind that, I have stuck to the timeline based upon the course that has been pre, uh, created, created, especially for agriculture section. Okay? So that is very important that I wanted to say. And uh, second thing is that because two months is not good enough a time, so I am assuming in this timeline that you are thorough or at least you are good enough when it comes to quant reasoning and English and you are only relying on tests, weekly tests in order to cover these three areas. Otherwise it requires at least a month to cover quant reasoning and English if you are starting from the very basics and all and therefore in order to uh, you know be able to cover it I am just assuming that you will be picking up quant reasoning and English only on weekends given that you are thorough with the basics you only need to revise through as many tests as possible okay so if you have any queries any questions you want to get in touch with me you can uh, get in touch with me through email or through uh, you know the contact number that i've given of course i can i cannot take all the calls during the day because i'm creating all this content for you i have also started with current affairs for phase two uh, and therefore I am taking calls only after 6 o'clock but my team is there to take calls before 6 o'clock for you. Okay, So let's move towards the spreadsheet which I have created. The link for this spreadsheet is also available on the website. So you can directly go to the website, you can go, go through the entire spreadsheet, you can, you can also download it from there. Okay, So let's go through, these, uh, through the spreadsheet first. Okay, So you can see the spreadsheet now. Uh, as you can see here, the entire preparation has been divided into four weeks, four, week one here, week two here, week three and week four. And when we start with all the weeks, we have Monday to Sunday. So all these seven days have also been covered. So this is the way that the entire four week plan has been created along with timeline that is along with the time period that is recommended to be able to cover this at least once. If you start with week one on Monday you are going to cover or it can also be changed to your own day. Let's say you start today. Today is Thursday. So this Thursday will act like Monday for you. Okay. So agriculture definition and meaning. Why 12 minutes? Because the video that has been created uh, by, by my team in agriculture section is of 12 minutes. Similarly, the video on branches of agriculture is also of 12 minutes. But then there is a PDF which covers both these topics, agriculture definition and meaning and branches of agriculture. And this is of 30 minutes or this contains about 10 pages, 10 to 15 pages, which can easily be covered within 30 minutes, given that you have already spent 24 minutes on going through the videos of these two topics. So this way you can cover these two things simultaneously in the same day. 
Similarly, going forward, agronomy is, is expected to take 16 minutes because the video is of 16 minutes and then the PDF is expected to take 30 minutes and this time period of 30 minutes as I just said is based upon the number of pages. So I am ensuring or I am uh, you know trying to uh, create a standard process as to how much can you cover per day based upon the number of pages that you can cover. Then you have classification of field crop 16 minutes and similarly the PDF is expected to take about 30 minutes. Then you have factors affecting crop produ uh, production 26 minutes, factors affecting crop production part 2 again 20 minutes and the PDF is expected to take a minimum of 60 minutes given that it's a long PDF. All these things are to be covered in a day and the to total time period that you are required to spend is 250 minutes. Now 250 minutes is approximately 4 hours. So let's increase it to 4 and a half or 5 hours given that you are also taking a break and you might get confused in certain areas. So let's say 5 hours. So if you are studying for 5 hours on a daily basis, you can easily cover this much on Monday. If you are spending more time, you can cover other areas as well. This is the minimum target that is required if you want to cover everything within 4 weeks. So if you are spending let's say 8 hours, 9 hours, then you can easily cover a lot more. So this is the advantage of putting everything on paper, putting everything on a spreadsheet because now you realize that you can actually cover a lot more than you had originally thought about. Okay. Similarly, let's move to Tuesday. 17 minutes for agroclimatic zones part 1 and 23 minutes for agroclimatic zones part 2. So it total makes a total of 40 minutes and then the PDF is expected to take 60 minutes because it's going to be a long PDF. Cropping system the video is of 25 minutes, PDF is expected to take 30 minutes, dry land agriculture 26 minutes PDF, uh, video and the PDF is expected to take 30 minutes. Similarly, seed production 35 minutes video and the PDF is expected to take 30 minutes because it is mostly conceptual in nature. So total of 270 minutes on day 2. When you come to the third day, precision farming, organic farming 23 minutes, the PDF is expected to take 30 minutes. Agriculture extension systems 31 minutes of video, the PDF should take 30 minutes. Ecology and climate change is covered in multiple parts, I think 3 or 4 parts. The, uh, the length of the entire video is 140 minutes and the PDF is expected to take about 60 minutes. So total of 300 minutes you are spending on day 3 on agriculture alone. Then you move to day 4, present scenarios in agriculture 75 minutes of videos in multiple parts and the PDF is expected to take 60 minutes. Animal husbandry 200 minutes, a total of all the videos, all the PDF sorry, PDFs and videos are expected to take 200 minutes. So this makes a total of 335 minutes. So you can see here it's increasing day by day. On day 1 the time period, total time period was less but it's I am increasing it day by day so that you can cover more and more, but it's completely doable. 300, th th uh, 300 minutes is approximately five and a half hours. That is doable. Farm and agriculture engineering 120 minutes of videos, fisheries 60 minutes and forestry 120 minutes. Now, okay, this is where some correction is required, not correction. Farm and agriculture and engineering, fisheries, forestry. All these three are covered only through PDFs, okay, not through uh, videos. At the moment, they are covered only through PDFs. Similarly, plantation and horticulture, soil, water resources, uh, these are also covered through PDFs only and that's why more time period has been allocated to them. Uh, videos for the same have not been completed but the PDFs have already been completed. Okay, So that's why I'm allocating some more time. So Thursday, Friday and Saturday, you're going to cover, cover only PDFs. Then comes Sat Sunday. By Saturday evening, you are done with the entire agriculture part and now you have to move towards the rural development part which starts with rural area. What's a rural area? Definition of a rural area. The video is of 15 minutes and then there is a PDF of 30 minutes. Sector wise changes in rural area is also expected to take 20 minutes which is also covered in the form of a video. Then you move to the next part on Sunday, rural occupational structure 30 minutes, artisans and handcrafts 14 minutes. Forest dwellers and tribes 20 minutes, all these three and the PDFs of all these three is covered together which is expected to take about 120 minutes or 2 hours because these are three different topics. Total of 240 minutes or 6, six into 4, 24, about 4 hours on Sunday. 
सो फर्स्ट वीक एंटायरली इज डेडिकेटेड टू एग्रीकल्चर एंड रूरल डेवलपमेंट देन यू कम टू वीक टू फर्स्ट डे वेर यू स्टिल कवरिंग रूरल डेवलपमेंट एंड ओनली अ स्मॉल पोर्सन इज लेफ्ट पंचायत सम स्कीम्स ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट एंड द पी डी एफ ऑफ ऑल दीज बोथ दीज थिंग्स विच इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू टेक वन एटी फाइव मिनट्स ओके द एंटायर एग्रीकल्चर एंड रूरल डेवलपमेंट इज डन विद इन एट डेज इफ यू फॉलो दिस टाइम लाइन विच इज वेरी मच डूएबल एंड देन यू मूव टू वर्ड्स ऑन सेकेंड डे ऑफ वीक टू यू मूव टू वर्ड्स इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल इशूज नाउ आई एम अज्यूमिंग फॉर मेजोरिटी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स दैट यूर ऑलरेडी डन विद मेजोरिटी ऑफ दीज टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल इशूज बिकॉज वेन वी स्टार्टेड इन नवम्बर देन इन द थर्टीन वीक प्लान द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी स्टार्टेड विद वॉज इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल इशूज सो आई एम अज्यूमिंग एंड आई वॉन्ट यू मेजोरिटी ऑफ यू टू हैव कवर्ड इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल इशूज बाय नाउ इफ यू हैव नॉट इवन देन यू कैन कवर इट इन दाइमली टाइम लाइन दैट हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड हेयर सो सेकेंड डे ऑफ वीक टू इज टू बी टू बी कवर्ड ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स third uh, third day you have to cover all these topics that have been provided here uh, fourth day is provided here fifth day is also provided here on saturday and sunday of second week that is on the sixth and seventh day of second week you have to start with comprehensive tests as well as analysis of comprehensive tests of phase 1 that's very important okay so sixth and seventh day or saturday and sunday of second week is dedicated to phase 1 comprehensive test and analysis of these test these the comprehensive test are solving two purposes number 1 you are creating a uh, environment of real test for yourself twice a week and secondly by analyzing these test you are also finding out what are the areas where you are strong and what are the areas where you are weak and then you have to start working on those areas in the same day itself okay that is what is called analysis and that is what i have already explained in a variety of videos and also the toppers have talked about the same thing that is the reason that i did not come out with let's say you know 2025 topper videos because makes no sense what makes more sense is to ask the person who has secured a rank of 3 6 9 something like that in top 10 top 15 who have actually created a difference in their marks to ask them what is it that they actually did that resulted in such high marks that is that has been the focus and all of them have said the same thing that they took a lot of mocks on a weekly basis and they analyzed all those mocks okay so that's the gyan that i'm giving again today also let's come to week 3 now so week 3 and week 4 are going to focus on current affairs when you start with week 3 you will see that we have started with phase 2 current affairs for both esi and agriculture so about 80 pages is the standard number of pages that any person any person who is studying for the entire day or about 5 6 hours a day can easily cover okay so about 80 pages are doable in a day so you are expected to cover about 80 pages of phase 2 current affairs on the first week of week 3 first day of week 3 which is going to start with january 2019 current affairs of phase 2 not phase 1 phase 2 i mean agriculture as well as esi okay uh, similarly second day of week 3 february 2019 current affairs 80 pages again third day march 2019 current affairs 80 pages again fourth day april 19 current affairs fifth day may 19 current affairs given that till this time period may 19 current affairs are out and then again 6th and 7th day saturday and sunday you again come back to phase 1 comprehensive test as well as its analysis okay and then on week 4 you go to phase 1 current affairs if you already covered phase 1 current affairs of multiple months then this is a bonus time period for you you can you can actually move to more of phase 2 current affairs if you have something remaining or you can revise some of phase 1 current affairs in this time period or you can also go back to agriculture and rural development as well as esi if something is left out okay so this is how the entire four week plan has been created for you i am going to start with its coverage one by one along with you guys uh, we've already covered the entire week one the entire week two as well has already been covered in the course okay week three phase two current affairs esi for january 2019 is out has been released and provided to the enrolled students 
phase one current affairs of jan feb and march are released the Ma april uh, uh, spotlight is still due daily were already made but uh, but the monthly combined spotlight is due and probably will be out in the next four five days i am working now on february 2019 current affairs for phase two that is esi section and after that i will move towards the agriculture part also okay so this was the entire weekly plan for four weeks that i have created if you have any doubts if you have any queries if you want to know about something you can get in touch with me you can either call me or you can write to me and i'll uh, try to respond as soon as possible okay for all the enrolled students if you have any doubts please put it in the telegram group for enrolled students i'm active there i'm available there uh, please do not go to whatsapp or do not uh, you know uh, keep calling me on the uh, on on the uh, official number you can get in touch with me directly through the telegram group and then i can tell you how to get in touch with me if you want to talk to me through my personal number that's available only with the enrolled students okay all the very best and take care